Bob Stoops and the Dallas Renegades are ready to go into the Dragon's Lair as they visit the Seattle Dragons here in week three of the XFL on Fox. Be shocked Ready. if they go Prohl or Keenan Re Reynolds right away. Quick pass. And that's Alonzo Moore instead. Breaks the tackle and picks up a first down. Go, go. On third and ten, Silvers. Towards the end zone, Prohl. Touchdown, Dragons. Austin Paul with the score. How about this from Brandon Silvers? You talk about some courage to stand in the pocket. He's going to get hit by three guys. Watch right here. He's just going to retreat just a hair to his left. And you're going to see three renegades right here come free, and they're going to hit him. And he stands in there tall, delivers a beautiful ball right down the middle of the field, perfectly thrown, and Austin Prohl goes up there and makes it. Silver's quick pass. Broken up, incomplete, intended for Kenan, Keenan Reynolds. Just got it off. Underneath, pass caught and into the end zone. Nagel with the touchdown. 12-yard score for Bob Stoops and the Dallas Renegades. And they will line up right now. Tie game. We'll see if they can take the lead. Flynn Nagel with the touchdown. What happens here is that you get way too big of a drop from the middle linebacker. It's kind of a Tampa 2 style where he's responsible for the middle, but he vacates that middle of the field. And Go! Ready! Ready! They fake it. Silvers fires that one and is picked off. Off target. Right into the chest of Josh Hawkins. There's a late flag as well. And some pushing and shoving going on, and another flag comes out. That was unbelievable coverage. Some frustration there from the center, Dylan Day. He came in Results with a late of the play hit. Is an interception. There are two fouls on the play after the play, one by each team. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense, number 20. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense, number 58. Those penalties offset. First down. And that one swatted down back to Jones. You can throw two forward passes in this league, and he does, and connects with Lance Dunbar. Unbelievable savvy from Landry Jones and Bob Stoops loves it. Ball is batted back to him, and as long as that first pass is caught behind the line of scrimmage, you can throw it back down the field, and he, Landry Jones, knew it right away. His eyes stayed downfield. Here's the batted ball. It comes right back to him, and since he's behind the line of scrimmage, he's like, okay, here we go. Bang, eyes downfield, and he finds a completion. Jones got a man over the middle, Flynn. Accepted. Godwin Equibrique with the pick. And Flynn Nagel just couldn't corral that one in. It was coming with a bit of smoke right through his fingers and into the arms of Equibrique. And I thought it was great coverage, too. Watch this Steven Johnson, number 59. He's going to be running right down the middle of the field. This is a linebacker here matched up on a wide receiver and he's right there that's such a tight window to throw the ball for landry jones and because of that it's tipped up you see that left hand in there as well and igwe buque comes away with it on the tip drill and the seattle defense again kurt just like they did last week against the vipers coming up big here with another turnover oh the mask the dragon's mask on <laughs> the turnover the turnover mask charge timeout makes its way Silver's on third down. Austin Pro with the catch. Another big conversion. And so far in this game, the Dragons are six for seven on third downs. 29 on that one. And the courage again. He's going to get hit in the pocket. He gets hit by a couple of players and delivers an absolute dime. Great coverage in the back end. Little zone read here. And he hands it off instead. Daquan Gardner. Big run for Gardner. Gain of 12, maybe 13. Regardless, it moves the chains. Here's Silvers. 
Ford over the middle into the end zone. Kenneth Farrell with the touchdown. One of those three-headed running backs with a 19-yard reception, and Seattle, Seattle takes the lead. Will attempt a two-point conversion from the left half. What a great route. That's the jerk route. So you give him that underneath look like he's going to run across the field. And then he just straightens up, goes right up the field. Really tough cover right there from Jones has all kinds of time. Running down the sideline. He threw that one way too short. Shannon Stripling with the interception. I mean, he had Jeff Bedett, but didn't get it there. Silver's on third down again. They convert again. Keenan Reynolds. Out from the tight end here on the hey, smash. Solid, solid, solid. 48. Bingo, Play bingo, clock winding go. down. Got it off just in time. Silver's brought down. Hey, that's good play. It's an offense. Crowd making noise. Seattle coming on the blitz. Underneath Jones. They won't get it. Completes it out to Flynn Nagel. He got oh, it. Willie with the forward yeah, progress. They're going to spot it. it and give him the first down. Right here. They fake it and throw it to Dunbar on the backfield. First down. Throws it underneath Jazz Ferguson and a former Seahawk. A couple plays earlier with an injury. And they throw it to him in the end zone for the touchdown. That's a way to come back. Welcome back, Mr. Parra. I would target that guy every single time I got the ball inside of the 10-yard line, and they do it off a little play action. Here's why that is so smart. Watch these linebackers. They have to at least acknowledge that play fake a little bit. One step's all you need. Now Jones to the end zone, bottled incomplete. Communicate well and then ultimately show up with an attitude at the ball carrier. Spent time with the Vikings last season. Big booming kick by Brock Miller. Flynn Nagel. Shifty and slippery. Look at him down the sideline. The punter forced to knock him out of bounds. Excellent return by Nagel. Yeah. Quick pass out Flynn Nagel. First down into Dragon territory. When and ultimately played Ohio State in the Big Ten Championship game. Here's Cameron Artis Payne slipping through, and he's out across the first down marker. Great second effort made by Cameron Artis Payne. Cameron Artis Payne, can he get outside? He does, and he keeps going inside the five yard line. First down and goal. What a great run bouncing outside. There's nowhere to go for him in the middle of the line of scrimmage, so he's just going to go, 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 and then he's going to bounce all the way outside. Does a great job with his speed, and then gives up field, and ultimately out of bounds inside the five. What a trip from 19 away. Six for six, and Dallas takes the lead. If I had to bet, you're going to get something off of this edge. They got it off in time. Jones. Caught Parham. The big tight end rumbles down the sideline. Six foot eight and speed. His second touchdown of the half. 65 on that one. Woo! How about the long strider? Parham goes all the way down the field. It looks like he's loping. It seems as though he's gaining distance along the way. Watch as Landry Jones just floats to his left to buy enough time to allow Parham to get past the linebacker, and then he delivers that ball where high for the six foot eight tight end. And then the speed takes over. He was clocked in the low four sixes as a, at a pro day coming out of college. He showed maybe even a little more speed there with that long stride going all, all the way for a touchdown. All right, so they go for two here. Dunbar, it looks like he stopped short. He got it, though. One official says yes, the other says no. I don't think he got in. They'll discuss it. The ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. For rule differences. 
from the 35. Then as he throws, ball comes out. Marcel Frazier with the turnover. He had the big interception for a touchdown last week. Really on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense for a first down. This time forced the fumble and recovers it. Silver's too hot for pro. And they'll turn it over on downs after the turnover. Cameron Artis Payne cuts it back into the open field. Artis Payne down inside Seattle territory inside the 30-yard line. Draw play, Dunbar. Gets around the edge and moves the chain. Out. And McGinnis remains perfect on the season. Seven for seven. More importantly, it's now a 12-point game, which is between them. Whether it's receiving the football and some pressure there from Dallas to close this thing out. And the Renegades going to get their second win. And the team that everyone thought was going to be one of the favorites in this league starting to play like an XFL favorite under Bob Stoops. Suffocating defense, some explosions on offense, great play from their tight end, and then ultimately just closing it out with great running back play.